Hey everyone, it's Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is a handwoven experience. Episode 8. In today's episode, we are right in the middle of a seven part series showing you the process of weaving a project from start to finish. So, we began with a planning stage, which is always a good idea for any weaving project. Then we moved to the warping stage where I stood at the warping board and you got to see what that looks like to measure on all the yarns in order. Then we slayed the reed last week, which is my favorite step. Don't tell the rest though. And while we were slaying the reed, we threaded all the yarns into the reed to keep a consistent width in the project. So now finally, the reed gets to meet the loom in this stage where we're gonna thread some heddles. So between last week and this week, I moved the reed to the loom. So do you see this piece here? This is called the beater bar. You originally got to meet the beater bar in episode four where I gave you a quick tour of the whole loom. So what I did was I stood up the reed on its end here. So it's facing up instead of down on the table and I moved it into the beater bar here. This entire piece unscrews and lifts off. So I slid it right in here into the beater bar and then I tied up my leash sticks. Do you remember the leash sticks? These guys are meant to keep the cross in place. And even though we have all the yarns in order in the reed now, I still like to keep them in their spot just for a little bit longer because it helps the yarns just to not tangle as much. And anything I can do to have an untangled warp is a good plan. So while we're hanging out at the front of the loom, all of the action for this step really takes place at the back of the loom. So I'm gonna move the camera and I'll show you what that looks like. So here I am at the back of the loom. I'm sitting on a very short stool, so I'm eye level with the body of the loom. And let me give you an idea of orientation. Here is our reed, tipped up on its side. These are the yarns that we threaded through when we were slaying the reed in the last step. So now this stage of the process is called threading the heddles. And ultimately this stage is all about taking each of my yarns and assigning it to one of the shafts. Now let me remind you, a shaft is one of these movable frames and my loom has four of them. So I have a choice. Each of my yarns can go on one of the four shafts here. And the way that you assign a yarn to one of the shafts is by threading it through a heddle. A heddle looks like this. It's this um, long metal piece that slides on this rail. They don't always have to be metal, by the way, but mine are. Uh, slides on this rail here. Each one has an eye in the middle of it. And that's where the yarn goes. So if you can imagine, the yarn that goes through, say, this heddle here is on this shaft. So when I lift this up, I know that this yarn will lift up and separate from the other ones. So here's what that looks like. I'm gonna take my next yarn, which in this case is a white, and it's gonna slide through the eye, just like that. And then in the pattern that I've chosen here, I know that I want my next one not to go on the same shaft, but the one next to it. So that'll thread through just like that. And then my next one, by the way, good lighting is kind of key here since you're kind of eyeball deep <laughs> into the middle of the loom. So good lights, put those all together. And here, let's see, this is my last white of my section here. This goes on this heddle right here. So that's kind of what that looks like. Now I've got about 270 yarns here that I have to assign to each of the shafts, threading through lots and lots of heddles. You can see the ones that I've already done here for this half of the project. But that gives you a good idea of what it looks like to uh, thread the heddles. This stage is gonna lead into winding the project onto the loom, which um, is always kind of great because you know you're so close to weaving the project, and that's always the goal is the weaving part. So, I hope you enjoyed this and you got something out of it. If so, please like, comment, or share. I would love to hear from you. And if you wanna know about the next video and when it's gonna be live, go ahead and subscribe, it's real easy. In the meantime, I hope you have a great week and happy weaving.